system.io email marketing tutorial how to send emails using system.io hey guys welcome back in this video i will be showing you how you can use system.io for email marketing how you can create email marketing campaigns uh, email flows and much more with system so let's get into it first of all you're going to go to the website system.io and you will land right here now getting started is really easy all you have to do is just enter your email address here and it's actually free forever and there is no credit card required so you will just enter your email address and click on get my free account in my case i will just simply sign into my system and we'll check out the dashboard so after the initial sign up or sign in to your system, this is where you will land. Now you can see this is our main dashboard and at the top we have our dashboard option where we have our main dashboard, we have an affiliate dashboard and a marketplace. So we'll stick to the main one because we want to focus on the email marketing. Then we have our contacts here where we have our contacts and tags. This is where we create a contact. Then we have our funnels and emails. So within our emails, we can actually create newsletters and campaigns as well. And then we have our stats, blogs, automations, we have products, sales and more. So the first thing that you need to do within your system is go to the contacts here because we require a contact list or a subscribers list or any sort of list to create emails, right? So you can create one manually as well. So I'm just going to quickly create a contact. Um, click on create contact here and you have to enter some information such as the email address. So I'm going to quickly enter an email address here. Okay, then we have to enter a first name and last name. You can select the country, you can enter their city, uh, street address, postal code and more. We can even add some custom fields. So I'm just going to click on save and a new contact will be created. So once the contact is created or you have uploaded a list, you can go to the email section here. So within our email, we have newsletters and a campaign. So let's create a new email campaign with system. All right. So you can see we will create a new one. So at the top here, we have create option. Give your campaign a name. Let's call it new. And I'm going to also write the word test here so that I have an idea that I created this for the purpose of the video. But you will enter your campaign name here. In description, again, I will just write the word new and test and we will click on save. So this will take us to the next step of our campaign. Once you have created the campaign, now we can simply open it up and edit it out. We will open our campaign and now you can see we have some information here and at the top we have edit campaign and add an email. Now you need to click on add an email here and you will enter your sender's name here. So I'm just going to quickly enter that. This is going to be the sender's name. This is an important information for our email campaign and for our email. Then we have our subject. So uh, for my subject, let's say I'm creating a campaign for a new product. So let's call it a new product like this. Now we have two types of editor available in system. We have visual editor and a classic editor. So this is the visual one and then we have the classic one. I'll go with the visual one because I like these pictures and you know, uh, this visual editor, which is very customizable. Click on create and your new email campaign will be ready for you to edit. So this is our editor inside system and you can see it's a simple drag and drop. At this side of the screen, we have our contents, we have image and text, buttons and horizontal lines. In layouts, we have sections, columns that we can add. Now this is our template right here, which looks pretty good and we will customize it completely. Now the first thing that you need to do is while editing a template is kind of like get rid of the things that you do not want. For instance, this is not my logo. So what I'll do is I'll actually remove this content from here like so and it will be removed now we have this text here and i will of course customize this one as well you can see you can select any of the block or the content from here and it gives you a few options we have our settings we have copy and delete so i'll select this section here which is the text and we have okay this is the simple one till here this is a text um this is not the kind of text i want this is also another language so of course i will completely customize this one and we'll just simply you know backspace from here and delete it and here we will enter our text so as i mentioned for me this is a new product campaign so i will go with this text we'll make it bold and we'll change the alignment to the centered 
Okay, perfect. Um, when it comes to the font and the size, I'll actually in increase it a little bit. It's 20. So let's go with 24 or maybe 26. Perfect. So you can see this is my new heading that I went with. Now we have this image here that I will get rid of because I do not want this one. I'll select it and we'll delete like so but i want to add an image here now so what i will do is i'll click on this plus to add a new content and this one is going to be an image so now i need to upload an image here so we'll select it and you can see upload a new file this is where i will upload the image so this is the image that i wanted to add and now you can see this is what it looks like then we have this divider here which is this horizontal line Moving on, again, we got this text here, which I will customize completely. I will get rid, rid of this and I will add another content here, which is going to be the button. And we can also go with some text. Let's get rid of this and this as well and add a content here, which is going to be a text. So this is the simple text here and I will customize it. So I have added the text and now what I will do is I'll select here and i will add another content which is going to be a button so you can see this is the button text and i will change it to shop now we will change our button color a little bit so i'll change the button color to something that aligns with our brand and you can see this one here and this looks actually pretty good and we can even change our you know radius and the font everything for the button here uh, with the button this is where i will enter the url and this is going to be the url for my store after that i want to add one more thing here which is going to be the images again because i want it to be a little uh, you know visual so i'm actually getting rid of all of the extra things that we got with the template but if you want to create something like a funnel type of email marketing campaign then you can just edit this one for me i am creating something different so i'm showing you how we can customize a template completely so there it is now we need to enter a thing here so let's go with Actually, let's get rid of this line and let's see what it looks like. Okay, perfect. And now we'll enter a image here. Again, click and upload. So this is the image that I wanted to add. And at the bottom, again, I can add something. I can add a footer or, you know, social media. But this is what it looks like. My new email, you know, campaign. This is like a new product, um, you know, email that I wanted to go for. And you can see it's a simple uh, looking email. We can even go with the different layouts, such as the columns, different sections. And we can insert them here very easily. It's a simple drag and drop. Now, I will just click on save changes and my email will be saved. We can click on exit and my new email settings will be saved and we have created an email. Now I can actually create an email sequence or we can send this email that we have here. Uh, this is going to be the sender name, sender email address and you can see save and send a test email. Click on save and save and uh, publish. We can even schedule an email with system if we want to or we can save and uh, you know send it right now. For me, I'm going to click on save and publish and then we can uh, schedule this for later and then this email will be published. It's the same way we can create newsletters with system it's actually really easy to customize an email within system editor as you can see it's simple drag and drop we can even customize the code if we want to with this option we can even add different attachments and this way you will create your email marketing campaigns using system for free so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help and now you know how to use system for email marketing don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel